Now I'm gonna show you how you can record directly from your microphone straight onto your computer onto some editing software. I'm gonna show you how to do it in Audacity, which is free. I'm gonna show you how to do it in um, GarageBand, which is free. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in Premiere Pro, which is a paid subscription that I pay for monthly. I'm gonna show you how to do it into these three editing software so you can literally record. It's already uploaded into the editing software and you're ready to go for your editing process. That is not how I do it personally anymore. I did do that when I first started. I had Adobe Audition. Um, the reason I use Premiere Pro is because I'm a video editor. That's what I've done for years and years. I'm very comfortable in that program. And um, also because I do video. So I'm not just doing uh, audio with my podcast. So you really can record from your microphone straight into multiple different editing softwares. You can do it in Final Cut. You can do it in Adobe Audition. I'm assuming you can do it in Pro Tools, which is a professional like mixing, audio mixing and music um, software. So I'm just gonna show you how you can do it two programs that are free that you can have access to and then in Premiere Pro. The way I'm gonna show you right now, budget wise and for multiple reasons is really an easier way of going about it. So if this is how you wanna do it, I'll show you these options right now. All right, so now I have this Behringer audio interface hooked up. My dynamic microphone is going into this cloud lifter for the gain booster and it's going into the behringer audio interface and then that's going straight into my computer we talked about usb microphones if that's the route you're going you can literally plug your usb microphone directly into your computer and go the exact same route we're going to go right now as far as recording directly to your editing software. One thing I thought of too is if you are doing a remote podcast episode with a guest and you're doing a Zoom recording, that is going to be a separate file as well. If they have no way of recording it on their end, you're simply going to connect via Zoom and hit record and then you're going to use that as your audio file for them. So a lot of times when I do Zoom recordings, I'll have my microphone plugged into my recording device. Um, I'm filming me and then I'll hit record on our Zoom conversation and I'll use um, the video that I'm getting from them and the audio I'm getting from our Zoom recording and I'll use that as like the second camera angle and I'll use that as the second audio file. I'm gonna show you now how to record directly from your microphone directly onto your editing software. If you don't have a recorder or you don't wanna do it that way, there's lots of podcasters that do it this way and they just record directly to their editing software and they're done with recording their episode. They don't have to offload any SD cards onto their computer. They're just ready to, to go for it. So let's get going. Let's start with using something free like Audacity. You can go to just Google Audacity um, like a recording software or audacity for podcasts. It'll take you to their website. You can download it for free. All right. So I'm in audacity right now. This is what it looks like, at least on the Mac version. I'm sure it's almost exactly the same for a PC. Here's what we do. We've got, um, our microphone set up. It's plugged into here. You want to make sure that these things are set. So this one is core audio. That's the only option. You see right here, this microphone, that's asking you what microphone input you want. So it's probably gonna be set on like your computer audio, which would just be picking up the microphones from your computer, which is not what you want. If your microphone is plugged into your computer, um, it should recognize it. If you have a USB microphone or I'm using this audio interface. So we see it right here, USB audio codec. And then you can do mono recording channel, stereo, you can do stereo, which can give you that flexibility with the left and right, so you can do mono. Let's just leave it on mono for now. Okay, and then this feature, it says right here, if you hover over playback device. So when you're replaying the audio, like where is it gonna play? Is it gonna play out of your um, you know, MacBook speakers or is it gonna play out of your codec? Um, I think for this, I've gotta choose MacBook Pro speakers because my screen recording right now is my screen recording is going to pick up the sound that I play through my computer. So I think in this case, I have to choose MacBook Pro. But if you just want to auto like monitor your audio or listening when you're editing, um, you can choose like whatever interface you're using. And when you play back, it's going to play back through like that system. So I'm going to ch check uh, MacBook Pro speakers. And then if you see right here, click to start monitoring. If I click on that, I can see right there 
this gauge. And I talked about this when you're monitoring your audio is negative 24 to negative, really negative six is a safe place to be anywhere in this region. A lot of people will say when you're recording to just keep it between negative 12 and neg negative six. And the reason for that is when you get to editing, you don't have to boost your sound very much. It's going to be very close to where you need it to be. Um, and we'll go through all that, but I, it's getting pretty close to there. Once it gets to like here, like watch this, Hey, Hey, see how it gets like in the red zone. It's because it's too hot. It's, it's like too loud and it starts losing information. So, um, I can, if you look on here on my audio device, if I turn it down, you see how it starts going all the way down to like negative 30, negative 24. I can go up, but that is a great way to audit it, to monitor your sound, to make sure you're not too loud and you're not too quiet. And so that's about, that's like a good place to be right there. Unless I start like shouting or something like that, I'm probably going to be in a good place. There's obviously so many other features and functions of each editing software, and you can take the time to learn all those. We'll just go through the basics right now that'll help you get rolling for your podcast episode. With all those things set, and we've got a meter right here, we can test it out, um, we can start recording. You literally hit record, and I'll just do a little test, and you can see how it works. Hi, this is Kevin with the In My Head podcast. We're just doing a simple test right here to see how this sounds. We're using the program Audacity, which is a free platform, and we're just seeing how it goes. Thank you so much for listening. Hit stop. And so you've got your audio track right here. Let's see how it sounds. Hi, this is Kevin with the In My Head podcast. We're just doing a simple test right here to see how this sounds. We're using the program Audacity, which is a free platform. And we're just seeing how it goes. Thank you so much for listening. All right, so there you go. Just a simple little test right there. And then you can do your entire podcast episode like that. You can have your computer plugged into a power source. You can do an hour long conversation. Um, if you have an audio interface that has two microphone inputs, then you can have both of those plugged in. You can set this up so it has two audio tracks that it's recording. And so just have fun with it. Audacity is a free platform for you to use. So just download it and try it out and see if it's something you want to keep using or if you eventually want to um, go for a different route. But I could see somebody using this on their platform just on their podcast for good. And this is just what they use all the time. Like I'm when I first opened it up, I was amazed at like what it was capable of. I wanted to find a free option for you guys so you wouldn't have to stress about I got to buy all these things, all this equipment and all the software. And I was pleasantly surprised with how well it works. Okay, for now, I'm just going to save this and maybe maybe we'll use this a little bit later. So hit OK and you just put where do you want to save it. So this is saving this as an Audacity file. So when you click on that file, it's just going to bring you right back to open Audacity and you can edit it. So always make sure you're saving these types of things like save it in Audacity or Premiere, whatever you're using, save it so you can... If you need to, there's lots of times I've needed to go back and get little clips from certain podcasts. And so make sure you always save it. For now, we'll just save it to my desktop and just say Audacity Audio Test. Um, so see right here, it says project file. So save it. And then if we show desktop icons, it's gonna be right there. Audacity Audio Test. All right, so let's try this now in GarageBand, which is also a free software. So when you first open it up, it says choose project. I would go here to project templates and I would choose voice because it's already set up for doing a podcast. It knows that's what you're doing. So it's got all these different things right here, you know, telephone call, <laughs> robot vocal. So it's got these like ready to go for you. So let's see how this goes. If we select like narration vocal, um, we're going to have to do our same things. We're going to have to set our microphone input, our speaker playback and all of that. So let's go ahead and set those parameters right now. Uh, these settings right here, uh, this is obviously mute. So what you can do if you don't want these, you can right click and you can delete the track. You know, I'm for this test, I'm just doing one. So I kind of want to see what those sound like. So I'm going to leave those on just for fun. And so let's go in and let's see uh, where our sound is coming from. All right, so GarageBand is a little different from Audacity, and so there are kind of two steps. If you come down here to, I've got these 
um, smart controls on. You know, you can toggle those on and off. And when they're on, if you look right here, I can't see like my Behringer audio interface. And so what you can do is come up here, click on GarageBand, go to Preferences. Um, if you go to this audio MIDI right here, uh, output device, we'll do the same as what we did in Audacity. So it'll just play through these speakers right here on the MacBook. And then input device, we see it right there, USB audio. Um, so that is making it so it's using our audio interface to input the audio into this program right here. And so if we go out, now we can see down here an in input, it's right there. All right, so now that we have our input set um, to the USB audio codec, we're ready to go. Um, if you look, this is the track we have selected. So if you select this, it's gonna record on this track. If you have this recorded, it's gonna be on, you know, this selected, it's gonna record on this track. So I do wanna do a test, that's why I left them there and I didn't delete the tracks. Okay, so we click on our narration vocal. Just like in Audacity, we've got our monitor right here so we can monitor the sound. I do like the way they do it in Audacity a lot better. I love when they have the numbers and you can see that it's between negative 24 and negative six. This kind of just gives you a green bar and if you talk too loud, like see if it's up too loud, hey, hey, starts getting in that yellowish area. And so let's just leave it at zero and let's just do a test and see how that sounds. You can hover over anything and it'll tell you what it is. This is um, a metronome, this is a tuner, if you're doing like, you know, instruments and stuff like that. Um, let's not play around with any of these. I'll leave that to you guys to do. We're gonna leave it, a lot of times they're just default settings sound great because this is specific to a, a vocal, you know, like a podcast episode for voice. And so we're ready to go. We've got our monitor. We can tell that we're getting sound from our microphone. So we just hit record and then let's just do a little test. Hey, this is Kevin with the In My Head podcast. Thanks so much for listening. We're just doing a sound test right now to see how this sounds. We're in GarageBand, which is a free software. Thanks so much for listening. Click stop. And I don't know why I'm saying In My Head podcast. I should probably just say like for our course, but that's just what's natural to me. I've done that for quite a long time and so uh, let's just click right here. If you click right here, this is like, if you see this playback loop, it's going to just cycle between this. So if you just want to listen to a certain part, you know, you can click on that. If you just wanted to hear like a little portion over and over to kind of edit and see how the sound is, um, or you can just turn that off, but that's what that's for. So get this playhead. This, they call this a playhead right here. You've got that right there. Let's just hit play and see how it sounds. Hey, this is Kevin with the In My Head podcast. Thanks so much for listening. We're just doing a sound test right now to see how this sounds. We're in GarageBand, which is a free software. Thanks so much for listening. Okay, so that gives you great sound. It sounds great. It's probably a little high. I would probably just lower my microphone. That's why it's always good to do a test and see where it's at. But overall, I thought it sounded great and it's it's awesome, it's free. So same thing that we did with Audacity. I'm just gonna do Command S. To save this, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna save as a GarageBand project file. So let's do GarageBand audio test. And we'll just save this in case we use it in the editing phase. So we save that. Okay, now I'll show you how to do this in Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so Premiere Pro is essentially a video editing software, but I use it because I can film it, I can have my video uh, layer, my audio layer, and I can export those independently. I can export one for YouTube and then I can export just an audio one. So I like to do it in Premiere because it's just ready to go for me. Um, but I've gotten so comfortable using Premiere that even when in the early days when I didn't do video as well, I would still just use Premiere because I've, I'm a lot quicker at it and I know the shortcuts and stuff. So, okay, so when Premiere Pro opens up, um, it's just gonna start from this screen. You kinda have to save everything in Premiere Pro first. And so click on new project, we'll do Premiere Pro audio test. Then you go to browse, you put where you want that. I'll just put desktop. So this is gonna be a Premiere Pro project file is what it's gonna save as. Click okay. So the great thing about Premiere Pro is it does have a lot more flexibility as far as your settings. This can be very daunting when you first open it up, but you can customize all these windows exactly as you want. And your Premiere Pro, if you end up using Premiere Pro, you don't have to have yours set up like this at all. If you go to Window, 
workspaces. You can see for all these different things that I do, um, I have a different setup, like a different workspace setup for a lot of different projects that I do. So this project right here, this is where you're going to bring in all your footage. You know, if you film or you um, record everything separately, this is where the window you're going to bring all that footage into. It's going to be like your library. And so I'm just going to take this window. I'm going to bring it over here. We're not doing any graphics, so I'm just going to close that. Uh, let's not worry about any of these effects right now. What we got to do first is we have to start what they call a sequence, you know, so we got to audacity and garage band just have your tracks like set up for you already so what we want to do is just do command n or control n if you're on a pc um, i'm just going to leave it at this dslr digital slr 1080p because a lot of times i use uh, video as well for youtube so this is going to give us a video track and an audio track um, you create a sequence first which is basically just a, a layer uh, set up for us to, you know, record onto audacity and garage band have those like set up for us, but it's essentially just laying down a track that we can put our, um, audio recording on. So let's just do a test. Let's do audio test. Click. Okay. So you see up here in our project window, audio test, this right here is this track. So this above here, this top portion before you see this bar, this is all for video and everything below here is our audio track. So what we want to do is go up to Premiere Pro, go to preferences, let's do audio hardware. And you see just like in the other ones, we've got default input, default output. That's going to say our input for our microphone, where it's coming from. And so click on this, you can see our USB audio codec. That's my audio interface. This is basically saying, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Um, I'm going to leave default output as MacBook pro speakers. Um, and we're ready to go. Let's just leave all the settings as is click. Okay. All right. So we got our input set for our microphone. We're ready to record directly into premiere pro next. We need to make sure we have an audio meter. And so go up to window, click audio meters. And then you're going to have this window pop up. That's a good way for you to monitor your sound and make sure that you're not too loud or quiet. The one thing I will say that I like about audacity better than premiere pro is by default. Um, even before you're recording audacity will tell you where your levels are at and premiere pro, as far as I can see right now, you have to hit record first and then you're going to hit your level. So, um, I'm sure there is a way to change that, but just for the course and the purpose of what we're doing right now, I'll just show you how, once you hit record, you'll start seeing your meters. So you could just do a quick test get your meters right, and then go into your podcast episode. But um, all you do is hit this microphone right here, do a voiceover record. It'll go um, give you a little countdown and you'll be ready to go. So I'll just do a little test and then we'll do our little clip. So click on that, gives you a little countdown right here. Okay, so test, test, test. We can see we're hitting that area that we want. Okay, hi, this is Kevin. Welcome to the In My Head podcast. We're just doing a simple test in Premiere Pro to see how this workflow goes. Thanks so much for being with us hit stop. And then you see how your uh, audio clip comes down here right now. And then if you go back up to the project window, you've got your sequence, which is this whole thing that we created, just basically your timeline that you can put um, audio and video clips down into for editing. And then we created this audio clip and it created that right there. Okay. So let's play this back and see how it sounds. Okay. So test, test, test. We can see we're hitting that area that we want. Okay. Hi, this is Kevin. Welcome to the in my head podcast. We're just doing a simple test in premiere pro to see how this workflow goes. Thanks so much for being with us. All right. And that's it. It's pretty simple. You can just record right into these programs and then you're all ready for editing. Next, we're going to talk about file management. Later on, we're going to talk about editing, how you can edit all this footage together and export. So your podcast episode is ready to go to upload.